Hello friends! It's officially December 1st and it is officially the Christmas month. This home tour collaboration is hosted by Davida Lane and I want to thank her for having an open collaboration. Make sure you go over and check out her channel. I will have it linked below in the description box. As you can see, I've decorated my mantle with the Target ceramic white houses. They're actually holding my vintage sign up because I don't have any nails in my walls yet. I just moved into my home. This vintage sign I purchased at a museum and I got it a couple years ago. But I wanted, these are the colors I'm using to tie everything together in my family room. If you see here, this is a bottle brush tree I got from Hobby Lobby last year. I think World Market had some with bulbs on it like that, but I only saw Hobby Lobby that had them like that near me. Of course, the garland is from the Dollar Tree, and the light bulb garland that's wrapped around it is from Christmas Tree Shops. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that was a store that is near me, and I love to go in and see all the wonderful Christmas items they have. Of course, that bottle brush tree is from Target, and another little Dollar Tree ornament at the end. Aren't the Dollar Tree ornaments wonderful? You can just use them to fill in so many places. This candle and the other one that was on the other side is from Pier 1. I got those at the end of the year last year, clearance. I can't remember where I got this Joy of the World sign. I've been racking my brain, but I cannot remember. And then the lantern, of course, is also from the Dollar Tree. Here's a pan of my family room. I'm just getting started, and I'm thinking of changing things up with the fireplace. If you have any suggestions, I would love to know. Here's my Christmas tree. And if you see on there, I have the vintage ornaments that I purchased from Michael's. That was my splurge this year. I'm really happy with those, and I'll show them to you close up pretty soon here. There's one right there. These are a substantial in size and they're also shatterproof, which makes them better than the glass blown ones from the past because you don't have to worry about them breaking. They're quite a substantial size too. I was very happy with, that was my splurge and I was very happy with that. Here's another one. Again, I just really think they're gorgeous and I was very happy with them when I purchased them. Uh, they were $20 on sale and they were half off, which is a little steep and I am bargain bluebird, but I do like to make one splurge every Christmas when it comes to ornaments and decorating. And then I use the lesser expensive items to fill in. These picks are all from Hobby Lobby, except the green ones. I believe the green ones I got from Michaels and I got them clearanced a couple years ago. This is a vintage style ornament and there's three others that follow and they come from a Christmas shop that is the most wonderful Christmas shop in the world. It's called Bronner's and if you are interested in me doing a video on Bronner's, a shop with me, I would love to do one. Just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see one because they have so many Christmas items you just would not believe. Many of my ornaments on the tree are from that particular store. Here's my nativity ornament, and somehow SpongeBob has ended up right next to them. Hmm. This is a vintage ornament of my husband's. This is Mighty Mouse, if you any of you remember him. That's an old one we like to have. And of course, you have to have the handmade ones your children made when they were young. And this is, uh, one of my children made this one, I think my son. This is a little um, display that my daughter made in a girls group that she belonged in. Now last year, if you saw me, I had this bucket outside and I've decided to keep it in this year. It's actually my fall bucket and I just turned it around and put a bow on it. Saved some money that way rather than running out and getting another one for Christmas. 
and most of the floral pieces in here are from Hobby Lobby. Um, the red berries may be clearance from Michael's. I believe I might have got those at the same time I got the green picks that are on the tree. This is a candle box, my son made. I love, and of course my fro from Walmart. I love to have the old mixed with the new. I love to have the ornaments that mean a lot to me that my children made. And I like to mix it up with new things. This is a bookcase in my living room now. And this is a display of bulbs that hurricane glass, I think it's from Crate and Barrel. The bejeweled ornament is from Pier 1 and as is this darker one down there at the bottom if you can see it. Those were clearance. I got those last year. And of course my Dollar Tree ornaments look lovely in there also. This Holly and Jolly sign, you might have seen this at the dollar spot in Target. You can turn it around. And I think I like it in the green. This printable I got off of Pinterest. I usually have pictures in there, but I put um, a festive, decorative picture instead. This is another bookshelf I have, and I'm a homeschooler, so I use my bookshelves pretty regularly, and so my ornaments and my displays can't really be too intricate or involved. I don't wanna knock anything over. This is my little tree that I got last year at Hobby Lobby. It was $5, and on it I have strung my string lights from Target. I believe those were $3 or $5, I cannot remember. Those mini ornaments were in the Wonder Shop, and they were $3 for $16. I just got those this week. They were not in the dollar spot. I just wanted to make sure that I let you know that. This is my Merry Christmas sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. I hauled that earlier. I can link to my haul in the description box if you're interested in seeing that haul. These pine cone garland light up and these came from QVC. I got these during their Christmas in July celebration. If you are ever able to watch that in the summertime you should because they have so many wonderful things and I believe I even got free shipping on there. I think they were like $12 with free shipping and of course I put a little bow around my box there that's where my homeschooler puts the completed work that he has done and I just put my little snowflake ribbon around it to dress it up a little bit. This is my kitchen now and this is all I have in my kitchen right now as far as decorating, like I said, we have just moved into this home and I hope to have more done in my kitchen next year. So if you would like to see what I do in the future, please subscribe to my channel and I'd love to have you come along with me as I go on this journey of learning how to decorate this new home. This is kind of a dark little corner in my kitchen and on my counter and so I got this beautiful gingerbread house from Hobby Lobby and it kind of has a little bit of a Grinch feel to it and I paired it with the cake stand from Target and the LED trees that I got at the Dollar Tree earlier this week. Those are also in my haul if you're interested in seeing that. It's just a nice little like candy display for the kitchen. I just love it. And I have a stairwell now, which I didn't have before, and this is all new to me. I'm pretty happy with this wooden bead set that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm actually thinking of purchasing more. The garland came from Michael's, and it was only $4 a piece, and I believe it's 9 feet. And the pom-pom ornaments are adornable adorable. I am thinking of getting more of those also. Thinking of doing a tree in those styles next year. That was my little angel from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, 
I just love these wooden beads. I, this might be my favorite thing next to the vintage ornaments I got from Michael. I'm not used to decorating a stairwell. If you have any um, suggestions, I am open to them because this is all new to me. This is my other little angel, the Joy. And then this little table, this was also a picture in here. I've covered it for the Christmas season with another printable that was free from Pinterest. And this is my candle that stays out all year and I just wrapped a little snowflake ribbon around it. I really want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas season. I hope and pray that you'll have a blessed new year. I look forward to making friends with some of you. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, we can get to know each other. I want to thank Davida Lane for hosting this collaboration. And I love the fact that it's open and that I've been able to participate in it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out Davida's channel. I'll link to it in the description box below. And once again, I hope you have a wonderful Merry Christmas.